for work. Just dropped my little girl off and now I'm getting ready for work. I'm really happy to be working and getting the support at Cotswold House. I'm training up to be a manager and I'm looking forward to the future for me and my little girl to get our own home. <laughs> Just finished my passport to independence and now I'm ready to bid on houses. I had a job before moving into Malvern. If it hadn't have been for living at Malvern and the support that was given by staff and residents that also helped me. I, I don't think now that I would be in the job that I am in. <laughs> I wish for opportunities. <laughs> um, moving to Cotswold House offered me so many more activities and things that we could do within the house to grow confidence with myself. I attended a lot of days out with Cotswold House but one of my most memorable days was um, a boat trip for a few of the residents and we went to Walton Gardens and we went all the way up there, we went around the petting zoo and come all the way back. Uh, I played a big part in Wonder Women, it was basically all the residents together making all different jewellery, card making, paintings and we did all that together as a group and we could go on and sell it out to the public so we could raise money for ourselves and other people as well, we donated quite a lot. My name is Carrie Ann and I work at Cotswold House as the modern apprentice. Since being at Cotswold House I've actually completed um, an MVQ level 2 in um, health and social care, also an MVQ level 2 in business admin and I'm currently working on level 3 um, MVQ and I've also taken part in lots of training that Cotswold House provide for the staff. Tears for training. I am starting my new course in September to hopefully in the future become a successful cabin crew. Well the workshops that are offered at Cotswold House, they can be from money management skills to your health, growing your own vegetables or whatever, they could, they're just really varied. The staff put them together and deliver them and it's all in a very informative yet really it can be very entertaining as well. I've, I've been in some brilliant ones. E is for education. I'm studying maths and English to um, start an apprenticeship. I'm Debbie, I'm the training coordinator funded by the Big Lottery. Okay Tash. This morning we're going to have a look at your English. Let's have a quick look at this first, this first page, okay? It says, look at the words below, they relate to computers. Can you match the word? Passport uh, to Independence was designed as a tool to equip our residents uh, with all the skills that they need to uh, move on and manage their own tenancy. There are 10 units to the passport. These include daily living skills, health and wellbeing, health and safety in the home, money management, uh, education, employment and training. When the residents have completed the passport to independence, they get a certificate, and we call that the resettlement certificate. They can take this certificate with them when they move on to show to landlords um, so they can demonstrate that they are able to manage their own tenancy. One of the units in the Passport to Independence is called Have Your Say and recently we've done some consultation with the residents and they have decided to rename the passport the Road to Resettlement because that's how they see it. Over the next few months uh, the residents will be involved in rebranding and repackaging the Road to Resettlement for the future. V for volunteering. Being at Cotswolds I did a lot of volunteering at the same time. I went to the old people's home just across around the corner and volunteered yeah. there for a bit. The Edge offered some volunteer work there too, which I attended. But I'd love to come back to Cotswold and volunteer here. In the end, is it's a job that I'd like to do in the future. Hey, bro! <laughs> yeah, the activity planner at Cotswold House is really good. We have a wide variety of activities we've done in the past, um, cooking activities, we sometimes, we get we have wee nights where we get the wee out and we just go on all kinds of games and we get we go on the just dance and it's, it's good. 